everyone welcome to civil engineering shilo's updates if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe civil engineering shilo's updates and also click the bell icon near to it dawson square fit slab concrete material calculation the materials required for roof concrete slab are cement m sand coarse aggregate that is 20 mm aggregate steel we are going to see dawson square fit slab concrete materials now i am going to assume the length of slab is 20 feet and the breadth of slab is 50 feet if we multiply 20 feet into 50 feet we will get dawson square fit that's why i have split it 20 feet as length and 50 feet as breadth in this area of slab only we are going to pour concrete assume slab thickness as 6 inches which is approximately equal to 152 mm this 6 inches is just an assumption don't use this same value for your house it varies from building to building so you have to use the thickness of slab as per the structural design of your house Generally the size of concrete is measured in volume let us find volume of concrete now how to find the volume of concrete length into breadth into thickness i have assumed the length of slab as 20 feet breadth of slab as 50 feet and the thickness as 6 inches here the length and breadth both are in feet but the thickness is in inches we have to convert this inches into feet we know that 1 feet is equal to 12 inches so half feet is equal to 6 inches this half feet we can write it as 0.5 feet that's why i have written here 20 feet into 50 feet into 0.5 feet now when we multiply this we will get 500 cubic feet this is the volume of concrete nowadays in construction site they are using m25 grade of concrete now i am going to assume m20 grade of concrete the mix ratio for m20 grade of concrete is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 where this 1 means one part of cement 1.5 means 1.5 part of sand that is fine aggregate and 3 means 3 parts of coarse aggregate cement sand coarse aggregate this is the meaning for this mix ratio now we have to find the cement material cement material always we have to calculate in number of bags one means one pot of cement divided by 5.5 5.5 means we have to add all the parts total part that is 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 if we add this three values we will get 5.5 that is the total part into volume of concrete in cubic feet we have found that volume of concrete and the value is 500 you have to multiply that value also here into we have to multiply dry factor dry factor is 1.57 why we have to multiply this 1.57 here because we are going to buy cement in shop as dry material while preparing concrete we add water to the mixture at that time some changes will happen in the volume and so we have to multiply with dry factor for concrete the dry factor value is 1.57 this is the reason why we are multiplying this 1.57 value here if we multiply 1 divided by 5.5 into 500 into 1.57 we will get the answer in cubic feet we have to find the cement in number of bags isn't it so for that first we have to convert this cubic feet into cubic meter to convert cubic feet into cubic meter we have to divide those values with 35.31 to get answer in number of bags we have to multiply 1440 divided by 50 this 1440 is unit weight of cement divided by 50 50 means one bag of cement is equal to 50 kg when we multiply this all the values we will get 114 bags of cement next we have to calculate m sand m sand we have to calculate 
in units m sent which is equal to that is fine aggregate which is equal to 1.5 1.5 means 1.5 pod of sand divided by 5.5 5.5 means total part into volume of concrete in cubic feet 500 into dry factor value 1.57 when we multiply this we will get 210 cubic feet we have to convert this 210 cubic feet into units. How to convert into units? One unit is equal to 100 cubic feet. Therefore, one cubic feet is equal to 1 by 100 unit. You can see here, when we multiply this 210 divided by 100, we will get 2.1 units. Therefore, the answer is 2.1 units of Emson or fine aggregate. Third part is we have to calculate coarse aggregate that is 20 mm aggregate. Coarse aggregate is equal to 3 part. 3 part of coarse aggregate divided by 5.5. 5.5 means total part into volume of concrete in cubic feet. That answer is 500 into dry factor value 1.57. When we multiply this we will get 420 cubic feet. Here also we have to convert into units. 1 unit is equal to 100 cubic feet. Therefore, 1 cubic feet is equal to 1 by 100 units. Which is equal to 420 divided by 100 units. Therefore, we get 4.2 units of coarse aggregate. And the last part is steel. We can't calculate steel without structural design. It varies depends on column length, column location, whether it is 2-way slab or 1-way slab and so on. Other materials can be calculated using the same procedure by changing only the values. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shilu's updates. Click the bell icon near to it. Share this video to your friends and families. We are doing floor plan and 3D elevation design works at reasonable cost. If you want, you can contact our WhatsApp number 93539-5591. And also you can contact me through my mail ID shilosupdates at gmail.com. Thank you.